Hello there, this is Nicola Zanetti and in this video here I want to show you the inside of my course how to test for Candida and other pathogens. So in this course here now we are still in the launch phase which will end uh, quite soon and to start this conversation in here I want to explain to you the, the number three reasons why people fail when it comes to their health. So understanding these three reasons will give you such a good advantage when it comes for you not to fail in your own journey. So the first reason why people fail in their journey to reach their health is that very often people try to guess and they try to come up with a solution without knowing all of the data or the majority of the data about their case. And sometimes this is very detrimental because just think about this. How can you tell if you are having bloating and this bloating here is caused by candida, a parasite or dysbiosis? Without the proper tests, you cannot say that because the symptoms are the same. So just going with the symptoms is certainly not enough. Now, reason number two why people fail in health. The second reason is they follow unqualified advice, which basically means uh, Facebook groups, uh, Dr. Google, and so on. And obviously, you need to understand who is giving you the advice. If you do not understand who the person is that's giving you the advice, then that advice is probably not going to be useful. So that's very important to understand. There is a reason why some people are qualified. There is a reason why some people are not qualified. Why would you want to take an advice from someone who is unqualified? Are you not sick and tired of those advices not working? And which leads me to the reason three. Let's now assume you actually spoke with someone who does understand the field of health. Why are you still failing? And the truth is that probably you have not followed the plan enough. You haven't followed the plan for a long period of time enough. You were lacking the commitment, the motivation. You were making changes to the plan. And all of these kind of situations, they do not work. And if you are here, you probably have already understood that. So... To clarify everything very nicely, you will not improve in a chronic health condition in less than a year, okay? So you, it may happen, but probably it's not going to happen. So you need to remember this. Chronic health condition, they do require a good amount of effort for at least a year before you start to actually like reap the rewards of the situation. Now, back to my course. So this is the entry. So after you buy the course, you're going to put on this page here. And under here, you're going to have all of the, the parts of the course. You have course introduction, which gives you the introduction of the course. You made it. The who is this course for? So the explanation about who is the person that should be watching this. All of the legal disclaimer, because, you know, it's 2019 and we need to be careful. Then there is the second part called the fundamentals, which basically explains hard facts about Candida and the introduction to the essential test. So this part here is basically to start to give you some, like an introduction of what is expecting in the next ones. Then we start to go to the, to the part of the body where Candida could be. So let's assume you suspect Candida to be on your nails or on your skin. You have all of this long webinar on the topical test. Let's say you wanna understand a bit more about blood tests for candida about blood tests for pathogen there is this long webinar here on the blood test then let's say you want to go deeper and actually test your urine there is all of this webinar here about the organic acid test and then there is this webinar here about stool testing and uh, this goes very deep into the explanation what a stool test can tell you what a stool test cannot tell you and how to put all of these together and finally you have the course wrap up where it's basically it's another final webinar where i explain to you all of the info that we have found and everything now i'm gonna go and start the course for you i'm gonna show you something very interesting so as you can see uh, each section so course introduction has its own videos here so you click here and you may start the video 
So I don't know if you can hear what's on screen. I'm probably not. You can just see the video going. So some videos will be of me talking. Some videos will be on uh, with the slides and everything. So all of these ones here, I believe it's just me talking. That's correct. So let me go back to the categories. So the first part is like this. Then when we go to the fundamentals, I'm going to start to record webinars. So it's going to look like this. So you start the video and so you see me here basically like talking, you see me in the corner and then you see the slides. So as, as the, as the course progresses, I will show you like more of the slides. So I decided to do it like that because it's very interesting and it actually helps a lot. Now, each video, once you have watched it, you can mark as complete. And this is, in my opinion, something that I found. Uh, I've been working in selling video courses for almost a year now, and I've seen that this mark as complete really helps people. Uh, first of all, remember where they were, but it gives you like a, like a sense of achievement, which I think is important. So let's go back here. Let's go both to the meat and juice of the course. So when we do in here, so the test, for example, again, the first webinar is all about the topical test. So what happens when Candida is in the part of the body, which is uh, mouth, throat, skin, nails, or genital area. So this webinar here will teach you what kind of tests are the appropriate one for when Candida is around here. Next, we have the Candida blood tests. Let me go on the thing here. So this is going to explain basically to you. Let me just go to the uh, second slide here. So in this video here, I'm going to explain to you the meaning of a Candida blood test, antibodies test in general, antigen test, what test is the best when it comes to blood tests with uh, Candida. Again, this is again a webinar which is made with uh, slides. Then when it comes to the urine test, I will explain and discuss with you about a specific test, which is, could be good for Candida, but it's good in general to understand more about your health. Because this video course here is focused on Candida, but it's not just about Candida, because you can take the information that I'm giving you through this course here, and apply it to many other different pathogens. Because when I explain the idea behind the organic acid tests, yeah, I will focus on the candida markers, but that doesn't mean that this test here cannot be used to understand if you have a parasite, if you have dysbiosis, and so on and forth. Finally, the fourth of the stool test, uh, the fourth video here is about the stool tests. And let me see, let me go to the uh, when I explain what's uh, sorry we'll go back to the slides what you find in here. So in here I will uh, explain precisely what needs to be done when you want to assess candida overgrowth and intestinal uh, health in general. So I will go through the links between candida, different pathogen, difference between candida and parasites and so on, and then. I'm going to go in depth so to tell you which kind of tests I believe you should be doing in this specific situation. Now, keep in mind one important aspect that the up level of this course here includes a Skype consultation. So it's a free 20 minutes um, Skype consultation if you buy the up level of the course. And in this Skype consultation here, you can ask me about your own personal situation and I will let you know what kind of tests for Candida I believe they are the most appropriate for you. So if you buy the up level, you will need to watch the course first. So you already will have like very good foundation and then we will have this Skype conversation so we can also we can also decide together what is the course of action that you can uh, you, you can do. Finally, to close the video course, there is uh, the last of the categories, and the last of the categories is all about uh, basically like uh, um, a recap. So when we go there, I will give you an idea and recap all of the situation. So we'll let you know, okay, so if you have Candida on the skin, 
this is the appropriate way to go. If you have Candida in another area, this is the appropriate way to go, and so on and forth, okay? So this will be the wrapping up things video here, which basically will go again with slides to discuss uh, like uh, everything that you needed to be you need to be doing okay so this is another 25 minutes webinar which says uh, basically if candida is on the skin this is the most appropriate uh, this is like uh, to explain the rationale behind all of the choices and so on okay so let me go back to page one so how long is the course the course is around three hours and once you buy the course you have unlimited access for a lifetime so you can always come and watch the video course whenever you want now to close this video here i really want to give you some important explanation about the health because you need to understand one thing candida is a very sneaky pathogen and not just candida but pathogens in general are very sneaky because they have been around on planet earth for millions of years and they don't want to be wiped out so they will do their best to make your life a nightmare so it becomes so difficult for you to remove them and to be completely honest everybody that i know of who has defeated candida was able to do so by understanding precisely what was going on with them so first of all, they started with a test to clarify, do I have candida? And if the answer is yes, where candida is in the body? Plus, on top of that, do I have candida with other pathogens growing? Because it makes a massive difference. So if you have a candida with some bacteria, candida and those bacteria will become much harder to eradicate. And therefore, your plan needs to be personalized to address candida and that specific parasite or that specific bacterium okay so it's a very important because the environment in which candida grows it's fundamental for your understanding and see what you need to be doing about that so for i believe a few days the course is still on launch and i still i also have two very powerful gifts for you the first one for the next 100 people after I, I start to publish this video here for the next 100 people buying the course when you buy the Skype appointment you can also have when you buy the course you also have the, the 20 minute Skype appointment without having the need to buy for the up level so the next 100 people after I make this video public you can buy the course and have included in the offer 20 minutes Skype consultation with me in which we will discuss what kind of tests are the most appropriate for you at the same time this video here goes out when this course here is still on launch so for the launch price it's going to be discounted as opposed to the, the like the the normal price of the video course and this is going to be still discounted for a few days after this video is made public that's enough for this video here this is nicola zanetti signing off and always please remember that your true health is the actual true wealth <laughs>